even though it's out there all the time, doesn't mean everybody, all the kids want to go and use the iPads or technology all the time. And we have it available so that they can use it if they want to, if they choose to. I think appropriate content is probably one of the hardest things of using technology in the classroom. Because some of the contents that might be appropriate for my students this year, but it might not be appropriate for my students next year. So I have to constantly kind of keep looking at the content, making sure that the group that I have this year, right now, it can use that content. So it's a constant work in progress. Yeah, so when we were just researching about the planets, when we wrote down Venus, what came up was not the planet Venus that we were looking for. So I said, oh, okay, so this is not what we're looking for. Let's put something, let's add another uh, word in the uh, search so that we can look at the answer that we are looking for. So I feel like I'm right there with them when they're researching. I'm right next to them. I can be keeping track of it without even them knowing. I don't want to be there saying, oh, you know, I want to look at everything. I want to make sure that what you're pressing is the right thing. Then they're not going to feel like they're capable and I want, to, I want them to feel they're capable of doing this on their own. But I'm right there. If anything comes up before even they know it, I'll get to it. There's so many other ways that we can use technology and I can't see why we should just take that away from the kids just because sometimes in some cases teachers don't know how to use it. We have so much stigma around technology and how it can be used or what it does to the students. I feel like as long as it's appropriate technology, as long as developmentally it's at their level, let's use it as much as we want just like we use anything else in our classroom.